This is the Oppo Reno 8. Most people describe this device as a decent mid-range 5G device because of its price. But there is a lot more about this phone that makes it better than other 5G devices of the same price. Reno 8 comes in two colors, the Shima Gold and the Shima Black. It also comes in two variants of different storage capacities. The price of the variant with 128GB ROM storage space is $499. In India, you will get it at 27,850 rupees. I'm not sure about the price in Nigeria, but it should be around 250,000 naira. The 256 gig ROM variant cost $570. The price in the Nigeria market is 299,000 naira, but in the end, it's just the storage capacity that separates them. Reno 8 comes with lots of customization options and satisfying features that makes it better than Reno 7. I will tell you every single feature you can find on this device, but first, let's see what's in the box. The first item here is the SIM Remover Tool. This is followed by some documents and a flexible transparent protective case. Next is the device itself. I've got the Shima Good color here and it looks great, though I'm not sure I prefer the Shima Good color. A 33 watt fast charger is also included in the box. And finally, you get a Type C cable. Unlike most devices, the power and volume buttons are placed on different sides, with the power button to the right. It would have been perfect if the power button was placed a bit downward so it can fit with the thumb for easy access. However, this is not a serious concern because the power button does not house the fingerprint scanner, so you won't be needing the power button often. You will find the volume control buttons to the left along with the SIM house. Unfortunately, even though the SIM tray supports two SIM cards and an SD card, it's a bit too long for a mid-range 5G phone. It has a microphone at the top and a second microphone at the bottom. At the back, there are three cameras here with a flashlight. Like the Renault 7, this device also comes with a ring-shaped breathing light that circles the second camera. The camera section does not blend with the rest of the back, giving it the appearance of an island in the middle of an ocean. There is a punch hole camera aligned to the top left at the front. This front panel comes with a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 anti-scratch screen protector and an in-display fingerprint scanner. The best part of this fingerprint scanner is that it is fully customizable with lots of graphics to choose from. If you like any of this fingerprint animation, please let me know in the comment section below. There are lots of other customizations on this device and seriously, they will blow your mind. So keep watching because I will mention them one after the other. If you are enjoying this video, subscribing to my channel would be awesome because you get to see my videos immediately after I upload them and don't forget to like this video as well. But there is barely any improvement in the design if you have the Reno 7 in view. But I can easily forgive that because the design is great as well. So at this point, I think it's very important to know that it doesn't support memory fusion, but at least the storage space is big enough, so memory fusion is not really necessary. Now, let's talk about the display. Reno 8 features an AMOLED screen with a 90Hz refresh rate. It's a full HD display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixel. A 90.8% screen to body ratio ensures that the edges have little bezels, which is an advantage when watching a movie on this device. It doesn't take time for the screen to respond and of course normally this is what everyone expects from a device like this. I appreciate the fact that it has a peak brightness of 800 nits, so you should not struggle to view content when under intense sunlight. Plus, it feels so light. Actually, one of the lightest phones of 2022 weighing only 165 gram and that is 14 gram less than the 179 gram that I found on their website. So if you want to know if this display is good, perhaps to make a decision whether to buy it or not. Well, I don't have a single problem with this display. It's definitely a good one. The only area where I have a little problem with this phone is the battery capacity. Like, I can't remember the last time I reviewed a device with 4,500 mAh battery. It has mostly been 5,000 mAh. There is no way the 4,500 mAh battery in here can take you the entire day, especially if you are locked in on serious business with it. But thankfully, it comes with a 33W fast charger. On Oppo's website, they claim that the device is packed with an 80W charger and can charge the phone from 0 to 50% in 11 minutes and from 1 to 100% in 28 minutes. But what came with the packaging box of this device is a 33W charger and not an 80W charger. Maybe there is something I didn't understand or get correctly. But whatever it is, I plugged it in from 0% so I can find out how long it takes the device to charge. When it comes to charging technology, I learned not to adapt OPPO. 
Oppo's SuperVoc charging system is known as a leading fast and safe charging technology worldwide. So now it's time to test Oppo's charging integrity with the Renault 8. After charging for 28 minutes, it's still within 40 plus percent. It didn't get to 100 percent. So I had to charge for over an hour before I could get to 100 percent. This is way slower compared with what they claimed on their website, but it's still fast charging anyways. One more problem I have on this device is the pre-installed apps. It comes with Snapchat, Facebook, or Relax and some other apps pre-installed. The issue here is that you cannot uninstall any of these pre-installed apps just to free up space in case you run out of storage space. A better idea would be to allow users to choose which app to install instead of forcing apps on them. One cool thing about this device is that you can easily sit it on a flat surface and there you go, it can stand on its own. Now about the customization options, it has a simple mode that can be accessed in the setting. Once activated, you get bigger text, bigger icons, simplified settings, and an exclusively loud sound from the speaker. This mode will be so helpful for those that are finding it hard to navigate around Android phones, those with poor eyesight, and those that are hard at hearing. Also, in the personalization section in the setting, you also get a handful of customization that include what will appear on the always-on display. My favorite is taking a picture of me and letting the phone sketch it in seconds. It automatically becomes my standby screen picture. You also get the option to customize when the breathing light will display, especially when you receive a notification. The only problem here is that by the time you will receive a notification, the breathing light here will be facing down, hidden, and unnoticed. Now, with the camera, you also get lots of customization options as well. With the video mode of the back camera, you can retouch your face with the built-in filter, removing any spots from it. Although the video output looks so raw, without much color filter, you get a very clear video. Photo mode versus portrait mode and this is what you get. Both pictures look great and clear and especially for the portrait mode, you get a well detailed image with an unfocused background. The pro mode is also good at taking great pictures with great focus. Then the microscope camera, you can literally spot even the tiniest of objects with it. The front camera is also not bad at all. With the front camera, you also get a good normal photos and portrait pictures. Here's a video footage from the front camera. Hi, this is the Oppo Reno 8 and this is the front camera of the Oppo Reno 8. I'm doing this video in a very low light uh, circumstance. It's uh, around 6 o'clock but the day is still kind of bright. But there is no sun light here and there's no light in this room. But... Reno 8 is a great device, no doubt. But I think that the price is a little too high. Especially considering the fact that there is no big improvement when compared with Reno 7 of last year. What do you think about this Reno 8? Let me know in the comment section below and see you in my next video.